I want to know what you can buy from me with your life. I can eradicate any threats, if that's what it takes to guarantee your safety. Sergeant Rahu, the blue rain is arriving soon. Miss Shalom is worried that it will affect you negatively. Got it. Thank your boss for me. He's expressed this to her yourself. Miss Shalom is not as unapproachable as others assume. She looks forward to seeing you again. Miss Rahu, you'll protect her, won't you? Of course. Where is Miss Shalom? Still sleeping. Miss Shalom is recovering very slowly, so she can't stay awake for too long every day. Uh, Miss Rahu, I'm here to tell you that your room has been cleaned and is ready for you. I'll go after finishing the risk assessment. This villa needs to be searched thoroughly. I will check every corner. Do I need a permit? No. You have free access to every corner of this house. Here are the keys to all the rooms. Or do you prefer that I go with you? Uh, actually, it's just something I want to tell you. Miss Shalom is a gentle person and the best boss I've ever had. She's friendlier than all the other East Side elites. If this hadn't happened, I would have never guessed that she's from Paradesos. She's getting such cruel treatment simply because she's from Paradesos. She's such a gentle person and has clearly done nothing wrong, yet no one can take her away. Miss Rahu, you'll protect her, won't you? Miss 
The blue rain suppresses anything mania-related, whether they are sinners or corruptors. It's unlikely that the enemy will launch any large-scale attacks in the next few days. A couple of routine checks will do. No need to be as tense as the past few days. Go and get some rest. You all must be tired. Leave the rest to me. Your boss will be fine. Miss Shalom has been here for less than a year and has kept a low profile. We didn't know that she was from Paradisos until she was attacked for the first time three days ago. In the beginning, our superiors took the initiative to contact us, mentioning that Paradisos was aware of our situation. They instructed us to protect the VIP and regularly update the safety data, assuring us that support would arrive soon. But since then, there's been no word from them. It's just been us sending data, always sending more data. We want to reach out to Paradesos, but who even knows where or who they are? I know our efforts barely amount to actual protection, but I don't even understand the current situation. I constantly feel like someone's watching us. Even if things are hard to organize in Syndicate, it's clear that other members of Paradesos are all under heightened protection. I just don't get it! Sergeant Rahu? <laughs> Why did you wake up at this hour? If you feel unwell, I'll call the doctor or the maid. I'm fine. I slept for a long time and dreamt of rain. When I opened my eyes again, it was quite late. What about you? Are you staying up all night to stand guard? That's my job. You should get some rest. The blue rain also affects sinners. Judging from the way you look, you haven't slept well for a long time. You must be feeling tired, no? Don't force yourself. No need to worry. The most important thing is your safety. Let me take you back to your room to rest. 
You look really stressed. Can I help you with anything? <sighs> when are you planning to go back to Paradisos? Why do you ask that? You are in grave danger right now. They should take you back. The Sheriff's capabilities are totally not up to par for someone from Paradisos. Do you have a reason for insisting on staying here? Or... is it because you can't go back? Did you hear any interesting rumors about me? For example, that I'm a disgraced and exiled Paradisos noblewoman. Those are just people's speculations about Paradisos. It doesn't correspond to reality. I have my reasons for staying here. Let's cut to the chase. Your life is in grave danger, but the security force assigned to protect you is abysmal, and no one has come to escort you to safety. You've been cast here like a piece of meat thrown to a pack of wolves. It makes no sense. Let me just ask you straight up. Did Paradesos abandon you? Or are you their bait? Are they sacrificing you just to catch the culprit of these attacks? If that's the case, will you give up your mission, Sergeant Rahu? I will keep you safe until the danger is gone. Is it out of sympathy? I'm an FAC's soldier. Protecting you is my job. My work doesn't require sympathy. Then who assigned you this mission? It wouldn't make any sense to protect Bait. So... Why are you here? The sheriffs here pleaded for help again and again. They were kept in the dark. And caught up in this crisis. Those around you are innocent, and so are you. The FAC can't just let all of you die like this. I see. Thank you. The original plan will remain unchanged, but since you're here, I hope you'll protect me and catch the culprit at the same time. Also, I hope you don't get hurt from this dangerous mission. Let me walk you back to your room to rest. No power, no background. A frail body, and not even a family member to seek help from. And that's why Paradesos chose her. No one will care if she dies. Even if I save her and gain her trust, it'll be impossible to get to Paradesos through her. She can't even go back herself. And that woman is useless. <laughs> but the fish I'll catch seems quite valuable. The enemy the Paradisos wants to catch. A bunch of mania killers. You old foxes. What do you want from her? If I catch him first, will you guys come to me? <laughs> <laughs> Just you wait. I'll bring the meat right to your mouths. You're... that FAC. Wait, where are you going? Don't leave! Having you here is enough. I'm off to clear the real threat.
after you. It's too early for business. I wasn't expecting anyone. You scared me a bit. Hello, dear customer. The shop is closed right now. If you want a custom-made dress, please come back in a few days. Those flowers are very beautiful. Thank you. My husband loved carnations. He was fond of the color purple and said it reminded him of me. He worked for the FAC. He retired for several years due to his injuries, but then got called to help out with the emergency and syndicate. And that... <sighs> led to his funeral. Sorry, I just came back from the cemetery, so I'm still feeling quite emotional. I understand. Really? Did something similar happen to you, miss? Judging from your uniform, you're part of the FAC too, right? Though I can't make you a dress right now, you're welcome to take any flowers you like. If there are people you'd like to mourn, too. There are. But it's not time to mourn them yet. Maybe you don't know, but the situation in West District is really bad. Many have died, and it's taken quite a while to deal with the contaminated corpses. Memorial services have been postponed for some time already. If your husband died there, he won't be buried until next month. <laughs> Where exactly did you go mourn him, ma'am? I... Patient you are. I could have explained a small discrepancy like that. No need. Your dodging skills have already explained everything. We fought several times, Miss Assassin. Your silhouette is quite memorable. <laughs> quite the sense of humor, eh? You're in good spirits, Miss Bodyguard. Take off your mask and let me see. Are you smiling? Then I hope you keep smiling for the rest of your life. Sometimes, a lifetime passes in the blink of an eye. Really? I thought the FAC was known for being polite and gentle. Why are you being so rough with me? I'm your colleague's widow. Can't you be a bit nicer to me? <laughs> what an amateur. 
Not only full of lies, but full of nonsense, too. I'm telling the truth. I was married to a loving husband, and now he is dead. These are my real-life experiences. You used him to collect intelligence on the FAC, and then you killed him? No. He was a great man, upright and doting. He respected my privacy and never pried into my secrets. If he had listened to me and didn't take on the West District mission, maybe I would have truly fallen in love with him as time went on. Too bad that good men always want to be heroes and clean up other people's messes. He went out over and over again, so he was destined to not come back one day. You also work for the FAC. Surely you understand. A new black ring appeared in Syndicate. How many of your teammates died there? I know this is your glorious tradition. The FAC loves meaningless sacrifices. So, I didn't kill him. Instead, we're in the same boat and should chat more about it. use neurotoxins on me smart girl i know your combat habits you love to fight your opponents head on without any hesitation and always put your life on the line to shield others this is the best way to deal with you oh stop thrashing around this poison contains a hint of mania if you have hypercubes on you, just wait quietly for it to be purified. I don't want to hurt you. Just yet. Let's have a chat. In the past four months, all the Black Rings across the city-state have become active. The bulk of FAC forces have gone to deal with them. You have no resources to deal with incidents in Eastside right now. Such matters have already been delegated to the Ninth Agency. Rahu, no. Sinner of the FAC G47 Squadron, you shouldn't even be here. Your superiors haven't issued any assistance orders at all. You returned to Eastside on your own and forcibly intervened in a case that has nothing to do with you. You kept all the clues you found for yourself, and even came to see me, the assassin, alone. I bet even your sinner power didn't come clean, did it? As an FAC soldier, obedience and loyalty are your sworn duties. But you have stepped on so many red lines. Any one of them is enough to send you to be court-martialed. <laughs> you found out a lot in just a few hours. Are you threatening me? No. I understand you. More than you know. You're the only survivor of the Eclipse operation to Dissey. You're here... for revenge. <laughs> In NF-103, the FAC received an emergency order and deployed 28 squadrons to secretly go to Dissey to break into BR-000. With little time and information, the mission reaped no results, and only you survived. It was an absurd mission. But afterwards, the commander who devised the tactics went into hiding, and the FAC got scapegoated for all the losses. Did you also get this information from your dead husbands? No, they wouldn't know. Anyone who knows this won't be able to sit here and do nothing. Like you and I. My father was a transport worker in the FAC's logistics department. 
In NF-103, he was at the base and got infected by materials secretly recovered from the Eclipse operation. He died before even knowing what it was. My father got infected with mania. Amidst the chaos, he went home without going through the necessary checks and turned into a corruptor right in front of my siblings. <laughs> like you, I was the lone survivor that night. I understand your hate. All these years, you sacrificed so much to become a sinner, suppressing all your hatred to be a dog for Paradisos. Yet you still can't get a grasp of the conspiracy. I know the cold, dark path under your feet. I've traveled along that same path. Our lives were completely destroyed in an instant. Nobody gave us justice. So we can only seek justice ourselves. There must be some fairness in this world. Right? My name is Garofano. I'm not your enemy. We are the same kind. And there are many more of us out there. There is a place in this world that accepts us. And someone there who understands us. She will guide and support you in exacting cold, sweet revenge. If it's what you desire, I can take you to her. Are you talking about your patron? Or the leader of your organization? It's the new family I tried so hard to find. You say she'll help you seek revenge. And then the mania you released, and the corruptor monsters you brought. She was behind all that? She gave you those to seek revenge? The woman you're trying to kill, and the people around her. What crimes have they committed? Why are you treating them like this? She's from Paradesos, Ra. No one from Paradesos is innocent. They are all enemies. The most powerful and terrible enemies. You hate her too, don't you? Just like you risked your life to become a sinner, I must gain the strength to fight them. We all have to fight for what we want. We all have to give up some things. Revenge is about giving your all. You know that best, don't you? Now is your chance. We can help you. If you're telling the truth, then I get it. There's no such thing as we. Don't kid yourself. And don't confuse us as the same kind. I'm an FAC soldier. I will protect my comrades in arms, the front line, and all those who must be protected in this city. I will give my all to fight against the villains who harm them. I will rebuild all the ruined morals the FAC way. Even if I'm the only one on that dark and lonesome path, I'll keep going till I die. That is my revenge. Yet you... Doing the bidding of shady gutter rats, abusing mania to kill innocents, and using revenge as an excuse to do evil. We've never been the same kind. You're but a useful idiot exploited by others. You, your organization, and the scumbags behind you shall always be the FAC's enemies. What a pity. I really wanted to take you home. Oh, try to keep getting my hands dirty. I have to go. I'll just put it out there. 
I won't save any getting my hands dirty could be fun. I'm here. I don't like to fight. Too close. evil have you done to gain such strength? Does your dear F.A.C. know? <clears throat> Who is the person directing you? You call her family, so you must be very close. If I capture you, will she come looking for you? What do you want to do? I want to go to Paradesos. To do that, I need an opportunity to present them with a gift. You and your master will make the perfect gift. There are those in Paradesos who want you guys. Did you know about that? I see. So I'm not the only one you want. <sighs> come now. Either fess up on your own, or wait for your family to come rescue you. You choose. Didn't she say she's a savior for revenge seekers? Then she will definitely come find you. <laughs> In that case, you have quite the potential to be an evildoer. Stop fretting over your so-called justice. You're already unfit to work for the FAC. Answer my questions! I have no patience with my enemies. You've waited for ten years already. Why the rush now? I gave you that floral letter quite a while ago. Did you read it? Did you not understand it? <sighs> Just straight up tell me what's in it. I don't want to play more riddle games with you. It's quite simple. Let me take you through it, step by step. We like flowers, so we hide the truth in them. Cosmos, lilies, and cherry blossoms. There are other words hidden behind them. The four seasons come and go. The dead are forgotten, and the flowers bloom and wither. Sort them out, and put them in their proper places. And then, day and night are reversed. Letters replace numbers and vice versa. Isn't it simple? <laughs> this is the secret comms code. The only code that penetrated the Disease Black Ring during the Eclipse operation. It was used to send you orders inside the ring. It came from the elusive Paradesos.
Recognize it? The other end of this comms is the enemy you failed to find in your ten-year search of this city. The Dis Sea Tide is rising ahead of schedule. We can't hold out with this temporary line of defense. Requesting to retreat! We must retreat! No word from Paradisos yet? What about the comms? Didn't they say they have a way to contact us through the Black Ring? We held out for three hours. No help ever came. You lied to us and left us to die. You let them die there for no reason! All worked up? Who are you shouting at? I didn't want to use this on you. You had an intense reaction. Did you see the enemy you've been thinking about all these years? Where did you get this code? How come you know so much? that you were there too and to see or paradisus you've seen that person who is he where is he now What's the rush? Can't you see I'm about to tell you? I did some dirty work for mania traffickers in exchange for information. I know they're bastards, but I don't care. Only the shadiest bastards can get to the shady truth. They can tear open the facade of Paradesos and give those hotshots something to worry about. Can ordinary folks like you and me do that? are dirty. I know that some of the Paradesos people I attacked are innocent, but they've all been useful.
those Paradesos fucks have always been secretive. Outsiders don't even know where Paradesos is. But recently, several of their people have parachuted into Eastside. They visited Nirvana, the FAC, the City Council, lots of places. You and I both know they're here to fix the mess in West District. There's no question that they're important. So we're both here to seize upon this rare chance. To use them to learn about and infiltrate Paradesos. You forced your way into this protective mission, trying to gain her trust. How upright of you, FAC soldier. But no matter how hard you try, those nobles won't take their dog back to Paradesos to get information from those bastards. This is what you have to do. This is a notice letter sent to every Paradesos person on my hunting list in advance. They're smart and know at first glance that it's not a death threat, but a lifeline. The puzzles aren't difficult. They all know what I want, and will tell me if they want to live. I've clearly laid out the deal. Give me the information, and I'll spare your life. Can you guess if they told me or not? There are bound to be those who don't know anything. And there are also many innocent people around them. But you didn't spare them either. That's right. Isn't this the necessary sacrifice? They will surely understand. It's the only way to fully appreciate the gravity of this opportunity. There are bound to be those who will spill the beans. And some already have. This is the right way to use this opportunity. This is true revenge. I'm willing to give up everything and burn in hell. What about you, the upright FAC? It's been ten years. What have you accomplished, aside from acquiring your power and getting close to a useless Paradesos woman? There's still you, isn't there? I don't need to betray the FAC. I can just rip open your mouth and get everything I want! Surrender! We'll shoot! <laughs> what amazing power! Your mania even triggered the alarm. They'll treat you like a monster now. Will the FAC still want you the way you are now? Will they kill you? I've long completed my revenge. Somebody put an end to my hatred, soothing rage and emptiness in my heart. I have a new family, a new life. I've received salvation. I wanted to bring you back too, but it seems that not all exploited souls can become family. You make me cherish the only treasure I have even more. I won't let anyone hurt my possessions again. I won't spare you or the people you want to use us to please. 
I gave up everything to seek revenge. And now, I will double down on defending my future. How can you, who have nothing, win against me? You're an abandoned dog that does nothing but bark blindly. Everything is as I've planned. you down. I can eradicate any threat. you down. Mania follows no rules. It distorts all rules, and is beyond human understanding. Thus, it cannot be defeated with logic and rationality. It destroys not only the body, but also the mind. Everyone experiences doubt, fear, and confusion. And everyone has their weak spots. The FAC has few weapons to deal with Mania. The most effective one is loyalty. Cast aside your doubts, obey your orders, 
and trust your superiors in the city-state as much as you believe in victory. The only thing that can stand against mania is unwavering conviction, whether that be stubbornness or stupidity. Let us devote our lives to fighting it. Let us build this city's last barricade. In the end, they didn't die where they should have. Are you sure you want these? This isn't a trick to bait me out and arrest us, is it? It, it did make a lot of people stronger, but it also turned some into monsters. I can't guarantee its safety. <laughs> if you want me to do nothing and endure this like a zombie, then I'd rather turn into a monster. You have defended the loftiest values with your lives. You are loyal knights. You are the greatest barricade. But it all ends here. Don't go on further. Don't doubt anything. Get ready to fulfill your next order. That's the meaning of loyalty. That's the meaning of your existence. You have won your compliments. That's it. Don't cross the line. Save your sophistry! You don't care about her loyalty. As long as you live, her soul will never know peace! What is this about again? Your rebellious phase seems to have no end, and everything is wrong in your eyes. Is the world really that doomed? <laughs> Perhaps a little. A bright future is indeed not guaranteed. Humans haven't had the best luck since nightfall. But Rahu, even on the darkest night, there are stars. I've found mine. One day, you'll find yours too. When you look up at it, you'll find the strength to keep running. And keeping yourself running is the meaning of life. But you died for nothing. They've taken away the meaning of your death. Yes, she died for nothing. But did she really die for Paradesos? Didn't she die for you? Rahu, look! A vehicle over there! Get in and start it up! I'll hold off these monsters! Don't die here! Do you want to die, then? You're an officer! You should live! Move! I'll handle this! Get in! This is an order! No! She pushes you into the lifeboat, and dies alone in the mouths of the monsters. Protect... yourself! She was the noble FAC warrior. She didn't die fighting for her own wish. She died for you. You stripped her death of meaning, so you're responsible for rectifying everything. Avenge her. Find out who put her on this path.
find the people behind 052578885 and make them pay with their own lives. You didn't fulfill your duty when she was still alive. Now she's dead. It's time to realize your promise. Turn off attack mode. She's an ally. Such an intense mania reaction. Where's your face mask? It would have lessened the pain. Get lost. You bastard. Don't you dare come near me. Your sanity barely remains. You took the most extreme route to obtain sinner power, didn't you? Mania crystal? Or intentional contact with contamination? Zero five two five seven eight eight five. I see. That's why you've approached me. Are you looking for the people behind this number? It doesn't seem like it's working out. You're getting nowhere with only this. Come with me, Rahu. You're getting soaked in the rain. of you. She... Who the hell are you? Get away from me. People like you. People from Paradisos. I know. Protecting me isn't part of your FAC mission. You only approached me to get close to Paradesos for your revenge. You're a terrible actress. You're a failure of the FAC, and a lost Avenger. You've forgotten who you are. I'll tell you who you are. You were once the most loyal knight, but you lost your master and became an ownerless stray. You're utterly disoriented and simply rampaging blindly in the dark. All you do is growl and rage and that has gotten you nothing. Stop! Shut up! You act recklessly based on your naive imagination of Paradisos. You think if you prove your strength and snatch all the achievements, you'll be needed and recognized. That's why you've ended up turning yourself into this. You're wrong. Paradesos has never needed power, but tools. Reliable, handy tools they can use to resist mania safely. What's the point of sneaking up behind us if you don't even know that? 
power drives you to take the risks, and your remarkable achievements are a result of your rebellious streak. Your edges are too sharp. You're bound to be ill-fitted in any machine you don't approve of. Don't you see how pathetic you are? All you do is prove how unqualified you are to Paradesos. And then just kill me! Like you did my comrades! Your comrades were much more outstanding and reliable than you. The FAC is deeply trusted, and they were the most loyal tools. You... As for you, no one's gonna kill you. You've pushed yourself into a dead end. In the end, you've avenged no one, and achieved nothing. You've simply made yourself a living joke. <laughs> Calm down. Tame the storm in your body, and take a good look. Am I your enemy? it too far. The ladies from Paradesos. How can we let a sinner go near her? Their attitude towards mania is crystal clear. Times are changing. I lack the ability to protect myself, so I am very glad that you're here. No power, no background, a frail body, and not even a family member to seek help from. And that's why Paradesos chose her. No one will care if she dies. That's why they banished you. Not banished. Used. In Paradesos, to be used means to be trusted. My power is not as strong as yours, but I've accomplished every mission assigned to me. As a sinner, I've won their trust. As bait? As a tool. As insignificant as me, I'm an excellent tool now. I can open up a genuine path into Paradesos for you. Be my tool. Let them use you and trust you through me. I'll be your way into Paradesos. <laughs> What are you talking about? I want revenge. I... I can't take orders from you. I... You've done your best. You've resisted fearlessly and fought against the tide, pushing limits. Finally, you've made your way to me. Good job. From now on, just leave it to me. Be it revenge or relief, I can take you anywhere you want and grant your wish. On only one condition. Keep your head clear and protect me. You're a knight. Protect me like you did those you once served. Never be lost again. I don't understand. Why? Fate 
is ruthless. Lost one who treads against all. May you. What are you saying? A tool doesn't ask questions. Just do as I say. Stand up and make your choice. This is your only chance. The one you're to protect is hurting. What should you do? I've only ever wanted to serve one person, and she's no longer alive. But I need you to realize your promise. I forbid you from dying. With your protection, I'm not dying anytime soon, rest assured. This time, you can do it. Keep running, Rahu. Keep running. That's the meaning of life. <laughs>